And a good morning. Welcome to uh, Local Talk here on Next Door Radio, nextdoorradio.com. If you're here locally, WNDR 97.7 Oxford. Hope you're having a good day. Our phone number 919 618 9258. 919 618 9258. Miss Kelly Siphon with Clove Hitch Behavior joins us here like she does every single Friday beginning at 10 a.m. How are you today? I am so well. So cool to be on the FM dial. I uh, know it's pretty crazy. Uh, so, again, we talked a little bit about it before. It's been up and down for two years. It's been fantastic. Uh, but it's great to have you. You've been on the program now. A little over a year now yeah, is that is that something. right mm-hmm. all right so uh, of course you were uh you had a, a rebranding yes. a clove hitch a behavior and one of the questions I've, i have not asked you before what was the reasoning to to kind of get the rebranding and stuff like that absolutely so as i was moving from a a service that was based in wake forest that was based in an office i had more insurance cases i was taking um i had a bigger team with me I was under applied behavioral happiness and that still exists. But as I moved on to Clove Hitch Farm, I went, you know what? We really need to focus in on what makes this such cool service. Let's rebrand to to Uh make sure that that's what we're portraying. I did not know that was the name of the farm. It is. That brings it all together. So that makes it a lot easier. If I'd known that, then I probably wouldn't have asked that question. (laughs) Again, this is that's right. Uh, This is Behavior Nine One One with Kelly Siphon, Clove Hitch Behavior. Um, And so as we transition, one, it's stinking hot yes. uh it is miserable uh, of course if you stand outside for a long period of time no matter what you're doing you're going to break a sweat and feel like you're swimming um but uh now with all this going on of course we have fall ball about to kick off here mm-hmm. locally uh, here for the oxford direct but we also have which means summer school is about to be over the uh, summer camps are about to be over and the transitioning back into school Yes. Uh, which I don't know. A lot of kids are excited. Again, back in my day, I was never because it happened to be on my birthday every year, uh, which was crazy to me. Uh, but that conversation leading up to that point in the uh, transitioning in from really, really a fun time, great time, great summer. And they're like, Dang, I got to go back to school. What, yeah. What's that conversation with the parents? So there's a couple different things that we can consider here. We can go through, okay, do we know our teacher? Can we start doing a pre-introduction so that it isn't scary new adult if we've got a kiddo that has anxiety? Can we start to perhaps get pictures of the classroom or anything like that? Again, if we're looking for our anxious kids, how do we make sure that they are feeling comfortable stepping forward? Any pre-teaching, pre-preparing we can do for this is what you're going to run into is going to be helpful. From there, if we got kiddos that are just like, summer is amazing and I never want it to leave. <laughs> Starting to ease that transition early. So going through and going, okay, here are the five things that we're going to need to have different between summer and school. For example, we're going to need to get up a little bit earlier. We're going to need to um, do homework. We're going to need to uh, go to bed at a certain time, perhaps. Sort of figure out what those things are that are going to be big changes and start to make those changes piece by piece beforehand. So maybe we start getting up at a consistent time two weeks before and then a week before we are going to bed at a consistent time and then a couple days before you know we practice leaving the house to go do something fun maybe just just getting those routines put in place slowly so it isn't that hard change from summer into school there you go kelly so i have a george is here from clove hitch behavior part of our behavior 911 every single friday beginning at 10 a.m. here on Next Door Radio and WNDR 97.7 here in Oxford. Our phone number 919 618 9258. Or you can also shoot us an email at contact at nextdoorradio.com. Uh, you can also go back to our website and everything that we've ever done with Miss Kelly is sitting right there under her very own tab, is sitting right there. Um, so, what are some of the programs that you offer at the farm now to be able to kind of transition and make it a little easier? for students. Absolutely. So I often will have, because everybody wants after school hours and after work hours, I'll often have mornings available. So Mm. if I have a family that's going, hey, I need a place to go to work on something in the mornings that we're starting practicing that transition, even if it's just a short term program, if we're going, hey, for the next two weeks while we prepare for school, can we come to you as if we were going to school, work on some things and then come home as if we're going to home? Okay, let's talk about it. As well, I'll often do consultations with parents to talk through specific challenges they're expecting to see. Perhaps they've seen them the year before or they're starting to hear from their child the sort of struggles that they're having. And we can talk through those things either just as us, the adults, or bring those into sessions on the farm. 
Kelly Saffron George is here for our Behavior 911 here, part of our local talk program here on uh, Next Door Radio. So with all that going on, of course, uh, how many kids are you allowed to have at one particular time there at the farm? Sure. So at this point, I've, I've done some small group sessions. Um, I've done some events, mm-hmm. of course, that are groups. If I'm working directly with kids, I'm going with one-on-one. Okay. And the reason I decided to do that is when I was in the group sessions, we had a really good time. And we didn't hit as many goals as I wanted to. Mm. My big focus is let's get students, let's get clients in, let's get them the skills they need, let's get them out. Mm -hmm. As much fun as the farm is, it is way better for a kiddo to go, I now have the skills to go into swimming. I now have the skills to join the baseball team. I now have the skills to go play chess and not, you know, lose my mind when I lose. All those different activities that they could have access to if they weren't coming to see me, I want them to have access to. So come and get the skills, take them out into the world as quickly as possible. And by going one-on-one, I'm able to do that more effectively. And so you mentioned a little bit, you know, doing coming to the farm and learning that uh, those situations, conversations and um, transition. How does that interfere when, when it comes to the, the student trying to get play, you know, horseback riding or swimming or baseball, like you mentioned? How does that help them to say, hey, we're going to mess with, we're going to play with animals. We're going to have a great time. But how does that kind of lead into playing baseball and, you know, that aspect? Yeah, that's a great question. So what we call that is skill generalization. So let's say um, you'll often hear this from schools. Like we do homework to get in the habit of being able to do homework, you know, when we're in kindergarten or first grade. It's not so much that you need to do the work. It's just getting in the habit of practicing these skills. It's the same sort of thing. We can practice different skills in that setting that's already out in the community, that's already going to be involved with a bunch of different variables. And you can take those skills to the next place. And sometimes we'll talk about it very um, straightforward. Like say we're talking about swimming. Okay, what does it feel like to win? What does it feel like to not win? To learn, as they say, you win or you learn. Um, And how do we get through those moments gracefully? And let's have those same moments where we something happens that we like or something happens that we don't like and work through those moments gracefully on both sides so we can take that skill forward. Kelly Siphon joins us here. Our phone number, 919-618-9258. You can shoot us an email at contact at nextdoorradio.com as well. If you want to get a hold of her, what is the best contact, uh, best way to get a hold of you? Absolutely. You can go to the website, chbehavior.com, or call or text 919 919- Five seven nine six one nine two. All right, this is part of the program where we like to highlight what you have going on at the farm right now. What kind of programs are there during this miserable heat yes. and stuff like that? So, how you how are you working all that out? It farm? won't surprise you that we don't have a ton going on during the misery of <laughs> yep. it. So we all know. So, uh, yes, between about now and the end of August is our hot season. So right now, my big focus on the farm is let's keep all the farm animals happy. Let's keep all the plants happy. Into September, we're going to have another one of the um, edible plant walks mm. with Melanie Yukov. I'm super excited for that one because we're going to so. have a bunch of different things ready to go for that. Fantastic. All right, here it takes 30 seconds to kind of once again introduce you and uh, kind of walk through what are a couple of things that you want our listeners to know about you and Clove Hitch Behavior. Absolutely. So I am Kelly Siphon. I'm the owner of Clove Hitch Behavior, where I work on changing behavior while protecting the spirit. A big focus is to help with tantrums and meltdowns, fears and phobias, and behaviors resulting from trauma. Fantastic. And how can our listeners get a hold of you for any information, want to book a session? What is the best way? Absolutely. So if you go on the website, any of the discovery call buttons or talk to me, any of those buttons will lead you to being able to schedule 30 minutes free with me just to talk things out, see if I'm the right fit, see if there's some good referrals I can make in the area or even out of the area. Maybe you just need to vent. It's it's no cost. <laughs> Call me up. Just a sit down conversation. Yeah. That's what we're doing here. I love it. Uh, we love you. We appreciate you very much for joining us here on our, uh, like you do every single Friday, beginning at 10 a.m. for the Behavior 911. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, we'll see you next Friday. Uh, so coming up next, we have Miss Carly with Victims Vibe there from Wake Forest. We'll take a break. We'll come back more here on our local talk program and next door radio.